after the Washington Nationals defeated the Houston Astros in a thrilling World Series. The 2020 offseason started with a bang, with big-name players such as Garrett Cole, Zach Wheeler, Marcelo Zuna, Anthony Rendon, Nick Castellanos, and Tyler Clippard moving teams, as well as the Houston Astros players giving a thoughtful apology for their scandal. The 2020 MLB season was looking to be a good one. More than 3 billion people in almost 70 countries and territories have been asked to stay at home. All the conferences listed on your screen canceled their tournaments. The game playoffs. tonight has been postponed. The most important thing is that we play Major League Baseball in 2020, and I can tell you unequivocally we are going to play Major League Baseball this year. Yeah, that happened. Meaning the MLB moved to a shortened down 60-game schedule, a 16-team playoffs, extra inning base runner, and a universal DH. And with there being only 60 games, this meant if a player got on a hot streak, they could help their team's winning percentage astronomically. Just ask a certain Seattle Mariners center fielder about hot streaks in 2020. A then 24-year-old Kyle Lewis was looking to improve his MLB career after a short but effective 18 games in 2019, hitting 268 with six home runs and an OPS of 131. Lewis was slotted in the starting center fielder position after Malik Smith was moved to the bench and Keon Broxton not playing in 2020 for the Mariners. Lewis, the former 2016 first round pick, proved to be a prospect with some potential still in the tank. From 2017 to 2019, between double A, high A, and rookie ball, Lewis hit 254 with a 325 on base percentage as well as an OPS of 730. So for a struggling 2019 Mariners team, they took a shot on Lewis that 2020 season. First game of the season was against the Astros, and the Mariners may have lost 8-2. But in the second inning, Kyle Lewis started his award-winning rookie campaign. Saw some of that last year from six home runs in just 18 games. Oh boy, that boss tank, that's gone. See you later. You can tell by the sound. From that point on, Lewis would play another 57 games for the Mariners and hit 11 home runs, get 28 RBIs, hit 262 with an 801 OPS, and posted a 1.6 war. Unfortunately, the Mariners finished out of a playoff spot by two games, but Lewis's performance that season earned him an unofficial All-Star selection and, of course, his AL Rookie of the Year, becoming, at the time, the Mariners' fourth Rookie of the Year all-time. I even remember going to a card shop and buying two of his top space rookie cards after the season when the hobby was at its peak. Couldn't tell you where those cards are at right now though. But anyways, Lewis got a contract again with the Mariners for the 2021 season and it was one year 625000 Now for the first two months of the 2021 season, it was going decent for Lewis. He played 36 games hitting 246 with a 333 on base percentage, so not up to par with his rookie year but still. Not terrible. However, June 1st, 2021, Lewis suffered the unfortunate fate of a torn meniscus in his right leg, ultimately requiring season-ending surgery. And this injury took Lewis almost a full year to get back in the Major League lineup, but he did come back on May 24th, 2022, where in his four at-bats as DH, Kyle went two for four with two singles and got a standing ovation before his first plate appearance. A feel-good return that ended just as quick. He had a 60-game season. Ooh, jeez Louise, tell me that didn't happen. Holy mac. Just four days after his comeback to the MLB on May 28th, Lewis was hit in the head by a Jose Urquidy pitch, leading the Mariners to put Lewis on the concussion IL on June 1st, 2022. And after two long months on the IL, July 22nd, against the Houston Astros, Kyle Lewis is back in the lineup. He did go 0 for 3 with a walk, but it was good to see him back playing. However, lingering knee issues and poor performances made the Mariners option Lewis down to AAA on August 10th. By missing three months of the 2022 season, getting sent down to AAA for the remainder of the season, and the emergence of young superstar center fielder Julio Rodriguez, 26-year-old Lewis seemed to be phased out of the Mariners' future plans of success. It was then shown to everyone that he was indeed phased out, with Kyle Lewis being traded to the Arizona Diamondbacks on November 17th, 2022. In return, the Mariners got 28-year-old Cooper Hummel, who has 199 Major League at-bats, hitting 166. 
At the start of the 2023 season, Lewis started out the Diamondbacks AAA affiliate, the Reno Aces, where in 53 games he hit an amazing 356 batting average, 16 home runs, and a 1097 OPS. Crazy. The Diamondbacks took notice of this and recalled Lewis on June 30th, where he got one hit and two walks in his first game against the Angels on July 1st, 2023. That unfortunately seemed to be the peak of 2023 for Lewis, as he played in 15 other games for the Diamondbacks and only hit 157, with 21 strikeouts and only 3 walks, before being optioned back down to Reno. Now at 28 years old, and that magical 2020 season seemingly forgotten about, former AL Rookie of the Year Kyle Lewis has fallen from the highest of highs in the MLB for a young ball player to maybe a life in the minor leagues. Sad to see that Lewis wasn't on that 2022 playoff squad, or now the 2023 playoff squad. I hope Lewis does get some more chances in the league, as he is only 28, but his injury history has hindered what his potential could have been in the major leagues. And if you wouldn't mind hitting the like button, the subscribe button, and hitting the bell notification. Thank you.